right, this is for Isn't She Lovely by Stevie Wonder. Another great song to kind of have in your arsenal and your repertoire. Uh, especially, you know, this one's, I, I just took it right off the record. I mean, all the chord inversions, the bass line, everything. So it's not really my own, um, you know, arrangement or anything. It's just uh, from my ear, you know, figuring it out. So it starts with a E chord. And there, there's an intro, and we'll get to that, but um, I just kind of want to get right into it because all the intro is just going through the chords. Uh, so we've got E chord, it's B, E, A flat. We'll stick with the uh, flats in this case. The song is actually in D flat, uh, D flat minor. It starts on that E. So we've got that chord, and the melody line just goes, everybody knows this melody. Isn't she lovely? So, I kind of fan that out. Or, you know, single note like that. And then I play the uh, melody, which is back and forth between the uh, A flat and A. And that's with our middle, I'm sorry, ring and pinky. Simple. Now we go to this. It's uh, B, D flat, G flat. Bring that G flat down to an E. Notice it's just following the words at this point. Um, bring that B down to a um, B flat. That makes it a uh, G flat seventh chord here. So so far we've got E to um, a tight. Uh, it's a um, like a D flat sus chord, D flat minor sus 4 or something, and bringing that down to the E is obviously just the D flat 7, okay, now we're down to the uh, G flat 7 chord, now it goes to a uh, A major 7 with a B in the bass, but we'll get to the bass line, so A, a major 7. A, D flat, E, A flat. And again with this, we're going to play the melody. So we've got, remember this note, isn't she wonderful? That whole part. So we're going back and forth, same thing for this chord. We're just ringing this, the rest of the chord out, the A basically. Like that. Now we bring that uh, A flat down to a G flat, keeping the A and the D flat. And we're going to bring that G flat down to an E, so now it's a regular e, uh, A chord, the E there. And then uh, we're going to bring that whole thing to a E chord. That's a standard E inversion. This is uh, A flat, B, E. So, so far we've got. the steady eighth notes in there. Now let's just work on the uh, bass line for this part. So right here, I'm playing an E, lower E. This is middle C, by the way, so we're not in the lowest E. It's there. So it's just E, and then E octave, and then sometimes I'll throw a quick B in there right before I go into the uh, D flat chord. So. It does that now on the E flat, uh, sorry, the uh, D flat, we're going to go low D flat, the fifth, which is the A flat, then two hits on the octave D flat, like that. And then we're going to walk down from our A flat down to G and the G flat. And that's done with your po uh, pointer finger sliding down to the G, or just jumping down. I usually put a slide off of it. Then it's down to the um, the uh, G flat with your mi with your middle finger. But then we're going to switch position because we're going to do this. And I usually like to have that be with uh, my pointer finger. Then so we've got E. So. So 
that's where I switch. Then it goes uh, down to the D flat, D flat, back up to the uh, G flat with our pointer, then back down to the, to the uh, D flat. We're going to walk down C to B here. All right, now from the B, it's just B, uh, G flat. Two hits on the B octave, then we're going to switch position again and get our uh, middle finger on that B and do that. So that's B, D flat with our pointer, E with our thumb. And it's it's pretty simple the way it fits together. I mean, it's kind of uh, right in the groove, like that kind of thing. So we've got that E part the B right before we go into the uh, D flat. Now we're on the D flat. So, when we hit that low D flat, we're playing just the regular, the regular chord here, this first D flat chord. And it's got that A flat, and the two hits on the D flat. And when we do that, we're gonna play, we're gonna move down to the E here, remember. Like that. Now, when we do this chromatic walk down to the uh, G flat, we're going to move that B down to the G flat 7 here, the B flat here. That's all we're doing. So we've got. And then here, when we go down to that D flat and back up to the uh, G flat, we've switched position here we're with our pointer on the G flat. That's when we play the A major 7 chord. So, in actuality, um, it's a um, G flat minor 7, or minor 9, because of that. So we've got that melody part, remember? This part's a little tricky because it's right on top of each other with the uh, bass line. So right when we hit that G flat, we're going to start our melody line. And then when we come down, basically walk down, you're going to be on that G flat here. So we've got the A, D flat, G flat. So it's... Oh, shit. Now, we're here, and we're moving down to the E, and it's just the regular A chord, but it's got that pedal sound because we've got uh, B in the bass. So it's... With that part. So there's that little hit of the uh, B flat, I'm sorry, the G flat to B. The two hits on that B, remember, and then the major pentatonic up to the E with our E chord. You see how that makes a complete E chord there. So it's really fun to play. I just want to play it slow. Before I go into the second line, I kind of just play that again. I repeat that. So we're doing, and then, so when I'm playing the E, uh, sorry, the D flat to E, I'm doing this E melody, the chord with the melody again. And I just walk down and hit the uh, same thing here. So we're going through it again. But I'm going to have to continue this on the next part.